Welcome back to another YouTube video and in today's episode I will be showing you how to do keyword research for a brand new website. This video is going to help a lot of business owners that don't have any SEO tools because we are only going to be using ChatGBT and Google AdWords which both are free to use. All you need to do is just sign up to them. So step number one is let's find a competitor. So duncanlewis.co.uk these guys rank position number four for Accountants London, one, two, three, four. What we're gonna do is just copy this URL, then go over to Keyword Planner. If you haven't ever used this, all you need to do is just search Google PPC, click on the first result. You might need to register for an account. However, it is completely free. Once you have registered, then just go over to Tools and Settings at the top right and click on Keyword Planner. Then what we want to do is paste in our URL here, make certain that the entire site is selected and click on get results. So as we can see here, we have got a total of 2,155 keyword ideas. How this essentially works is that it will look at the website duncanlewis.co.uk and it will map out a keyword per page that they are ranking for. So for example, Duncan Lewis might be ranking very well for child custody lawyers, hence why it has added it to the list. Now the next step would be to download keyword ideas and we're gonna just download it as a Google Sheet. So this will take its thing. I'm just gonna name this as Duncan Lewis. Now, as you can see here, we have a list of all of our keywords that our competitor is ranking for. Now, what you want to be doing is selecting as many of these that you think is relevant to your website. What I will be doing is I'm going to pick the top, let's say, 60. Um, so I've just selected the top 60 and what we're going to do is go over to ChatGBT and essentially group some of these keywords together. So this is the prompt that I will be using. Here is a list of my competitors keywords. What I need you to do is give me the intent of each keyword, group keywords that you think need to be on one page and also tell me the difficulty of each keyword. I also need secondary keywords for each page as well. So ChatGBT has just come back with our primary keywords, the intent, the group, the difficulty, and also the secondary keywords that deserve to be on that page. Now, very quickly, we can see one issue with all of these keywords, and that is that the difficulty is high, which means if you are building out a fresh website, let's say you've just recently registered a brand new domain two days ago, you're not gonna be able to rank for these keywords you're gonna to need to build what's called supporting articles for each of these keywords. So now the next step is to tell ChatGBT that we need supporting articles for these so we can essentially build on our topical authority on our website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the bottom and enter this prompt. The prompt that we have used is you are a linguistic and semantic expert. Give me a list of 10 supporting articles that are long tail for each primary keyword. I want to build my topical authority as a law firm in London Obviously you can change out the location, so if you are in New York or if you are in Manchester, whatever the case may be. So it has just completed our task. As you can see here, primary keyword, child custody, how to choose the best child custody lawyer in London in your case, understanding London's child custody laws, navigating child custody mediation, the role of child custody lawyer during divorce proceedings in London, and so on and so forth. And then it's done the exact same thing for divorce lawyers, family law solicitors, immigration lawyers, London, choosing the right immigration lawyer in London for your visa application, and so on and so forth. So now what we're gonna do is copy all of this into our Google Sheet. Now, as you can see here, we have got all of our service pages. So what, when I say service pages, what I mean by that is child custody lawyer, somebody that's searching that is most likely looking for a transaction. They're looking to hire you as a law firm. Same goes with solicitors near me, divorce lawyers, etc., etc. Now, one extra step that we can also take, so this is kind of like a bonus step, is we can essentially ask ChatGBT based off of the difficulty, we can prioritize certain articles that we feel deserve to be published on our website first. So what I mean by that is, let's say there is a article with a difficulty level of zero, but it gets 250 searches. We want to prioritize that onto our website first, mainly because it's easier to rank. So the easier articles should be going live on our website first and then we can upload the harder articles. So this is the prompt that I'm using now. Based on difficulty, which supporting articles should go live on the website first? I want you to prioritize these articles in a table based on difficulty so I can copy and paste it to my Google Sheet. I'm gonna hit enter and wait for it to do its thing. 
ChatGPT has just finished the prompt and as you can see here, we have got the primary keyword, we've got the supporting article for that keyword. So when we're uploading these articles to our website, we know exactly which primary keyword we need to be internally linking from, from the supporting articles. And it also has estimated the difficulty as well. So we know which articles we should be prioritizing onto our website first. So as you can see here, it started off with medium. Bearing in mind, law is quite a difficult industry to begin with, but it has started off with medium and then it's went into high and it has done everything for us. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy this over into my Google Sheet and we can essentially look at it on there. So this is what it looks like on Google Sheets. As you can see, we have got a total of 50 articles that we need uploading through to our website and it also has categorized it all for us. So in total, we have got 10 service pages that we're gonna be uploading. And on top of that, we've also got 50 supporting articles, supporting our, our primary keywords. So we were able to do that in a matter of minutes just by exporting from Google Ads. Now, what you cannot also do is export 2,155 keywords. You can do as many keywords as you want and you will obviously get a lot more primary service pages and also a lot more supporting articles as well. Now, that's been my video on how to do keyword research without any paid tools. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and comment down below. And if you want a free growth strategy for your website, remember to check out kadradash.com where you can book a free 15-minute call with myself. Thanks.